Adam, Adam, Adam. Timeline. This is the Adam Timeline. Let's start with Thales, the Greek philosopher. In 600 BC, Thales discovered that rubbing a piece of fur on ember attracted hairs and other light objects to it. He suggested that the force probably came from the ember. Next on the timeline is Democritus. In 460 BC, Democritus developed the idea of the atom. He asked himself this question, if you break a piece of matter in half and then break it in half again, how many breaks will you have to make before you can break it no farther? He thought that it eventually would get to its smallest point, which he called the atom. The next two on the timeline are Coulomb and Dalton. In 1780, Coulomb made a formula about the force between two electrical charges. This is the formula. The formula is F is the force and Q1 and Q2 are the charges and D is the distance between them. In 1803, Dalton made the modern atomic theory. This theory said all atoms are composed of elements. All atoms are indivisible. Atoms of the same element are identical, and atoms of different elements are different. And finally, compounds are formed by joining two or more atoms. The next two guys on the timeline are Thompson and Rutherford. In 1897, Thompson did an experiment where he sent electric current through a cathode ray tube that was filled with gas. The gas was giving off a negative charge. This meant that there had to be negative particles in the atom. In 1908, Rutherford did an experiment where he sent positive particles through a gold sheet of paper. But someone bounced back and someone passed through. This made Rutherford believe that there was positive charge portion to the atom. He called this the nucleus. The next two guys on my timeline are Bohr and Pauli. In 1912, Bohr made a theory that said electrons do not spiral into the nucleus. Then he made rules that told you what does happen. Rule 1. Electrons can orbit only at a certain allowed distance from the nucleus. Rule 2. Atoms radiate energy when an electron jumps from a higher energy orbit to a lower energy or orbit. Also, an atom absorbs energy when an electron gets boosted from a lower energy orbit to a higher energy orbit. Bohr also made a model that showed the electrons going around the nucleus. This is what it looks like. In 1924, Pauli made the Pauli exclusion principle. The principle said, if an electron has a certain set of quantum numbers, then no other electron in that atom can have the same set of quantum numbers. The last two guys on the timeline are Heisenberg and Chadwick. In 1927, Heisenberg had an idea. It said that as one measures the certainty of position of a particle, the uncertainty in the momentum gets correspondingly larger. Or with an accurate momentum measurement, the knowledge about the particle's position gets correspondingly less. This was called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. In 1932, Chadwick discovered the neutron. He saw that it had a slightly heavier mass than the proton and it had no charge. And that was our timeline.